Hey guys and welcome to Petroped. Now then I am up here in Edinburgh at Criterium Cycles filming for Cycle Sunday. I'm building the Ultra XR4 and picking up my E mountain bike. Oh no, it's Mr. Balker. What you got there mate? What have I got for you? What, what is it? It's a van. I got your lucky van. An electric van? Full electric van. Mate. How could, do you want to go? Yes. How cool is this? Hey! It's massive. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I'm getting a bit of a van thing. I've been done the transit recently, dropping that on the channel. Everyone needs a van. Yeah, and I'm up here collecting an e-bike. Yes. And you basically got your hands on this for me to play with. Yeah, I'm really... Yeah. <laughs> One of our customers, yeah. uh, he's a uh, dealer principal, basically, of um, Western Commercials. Yeah. And I said, and he said to me, he said, we do electric vans. I said, oh, I've got to get one an of electric, those. I mean, I'm not being funny. So we've, I've done plenty of electric cars. Yeah. But actually, electric commercial vehicles yes. are probably more pressing to get more of that fleet yeah. electrified than yeah. it is consumer. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. Let's go right. for a drive. Let's, let's do. Let's do kind of one take because we are like super busy filming. Key. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think the electric vehicle market's missed a trick. Right. I think they should actually have a button like on your consumer unit oh, at yeah. home, like an <laughs> RCD yeah. type thing. I think so that's what they should do. So a key goes in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, or like a Polestar, you don't even have a key. Well, you get in with a key in it and it's just on. Oh, well. There's no start button. Okay. So turn it round. That's it. Are we on? Foot on the brake. I think you do one more turn. That's it. And I'm that, on. That's it on. Whoa. That's it. I'll turn those fans down. Yeah, good plan. Yeah? Yeah. Where's the gear stick? Gear stick's on the end of that column there. All right. So you just pull it down for drive. Have you got your foot on the brake? That's it. Just pull it, your foot on the brake, pull it down. Shift out of P. This isn't very good, is That's it? it. <laughs> oh, hang on. You. That's it. Now the engine started. Who's the car reviewer here? I can't even get it to start. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> All right. Now we can go. Right, you've got a, there's, there's a pull handle that's got a, that's your handbrake, so that's Ooh, it. Okay. Perfect. Right, I'm putting my seatbelt on. Hang yeah, on. that's a good plan. That's a good plan. Perfect. Uh, which way are we going? We're good at this. We're, We're going, going left. Ooh. Look at so, that. So, you know all the stats about this. So, so, um, so, all right, the most important thing before we do performance. Yes. Is if you are, a trade person mm -hmm. and you're gonna go down the electric van route yeah the first thing you want to know is how far can i drive this before i need to charge it up so this one has got a hundred kilowatt hour battery okay under the floor yeah and it's got a predicted range of about 220 miles hey that's not bad it's really good if you were doing like deliveries and that kind of stuff yeah it's not bad yeah and the other thing is, I mean, which this... way should we go, dude? I don't know where I am. Oh yeah, well, uh, let's go right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ooh. good brakes. It's got good brakes. <laughs> yeah, and it's also got the uh, full regen as well. Yeah. So you've spoken about that on your channel. So you have got yeah. the paddles on on the oh, back of the steering wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can you can basically pull the paddle. Can you see how it's got D at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. If you pull the paddle once, hold on. Let me just pull yeah. out this without trying to kill us. Okay, well, I'll go on to the range again then. Yeah. So about 220 miles range predicted. Yeah. And because it accepts the fast charge, I know. Uh, oh, the bus. <laughs> it's flipping fast, isn't it? <laughs> so it's equivalent to 204 horsepower. Oh, I see, we've got a little plus go next to the... Where yeah. are we going now? Right, turn right. That's quite... That's sprinty, that. It's really sprinty. Did you see what I did there? I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the Vito. So, well, let's introduce the van. Yeah, so this is a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes Bend E Vito Tora. Right, okay. Yes. It's quick, isn't it? Okay, so that is quite safely the fastest van I've ever been in. It's flipping brilliant. And how quiet so, is it? So the transit I had, yeah. um, the, the, the video dropped on the channel recently, 
That was about 180 horsepower. Yeah. That was a really nice car to drive. We probably do need a bit of fan because I can't actually see out the window now. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty sprightly. This is proper quick. This is really quick. And yeah, because I've got the same. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> and the regen's amazing. So pull the left paddle. I have. No, pull left, pull it again. Left, yeah. left paddle. That's right paddle. Yeah. That's it. Pull, pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay. Oh, that's turning it on. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Negative yeah. turns it. Negative increases the. Yes. Well, that's the wrong way round. Uh, straight on. Yeah, straight on. Ah, oh, okay. So. Yeah. So when you come off the power, I mean it. It proper proper brake. Oh yeah, okay. That's quite good. It's not quite one pedal driving. No, but it's not far off, is it? So okay, so, <laughs> I'm rapidly, it's rapidly not, turning into a van fan. It's not the smoothest drive, I won't lie. No, but the heat is quite good. The heat is very good, and that was a question for you on electric vehicles in general. Yeah, because I've noticed driving this for the last couple of days that from the minute uh, we're straight over there. That's it. I don't know. Down there. So from the minute you switch it on and drive, yeah. you've got hot air coming out. Yeah. That's probably, most of them have got some kind of heating element, right. rather than uh, a piston car would often take the heat from the engine, and, and that kind of needs to warm up a bit. That, that explains that. So, I mean, obviously... <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't get old, does it? No, not really. No. Uh, and it, it's, you've got like a gator that just has boost, which boost. basically means you have to drive it in that all the time. Indeed, yeah. It's like a game. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So you can, I guess, so this format, this is a, it's a very long van, actually. Yeah. So this one is the L3. Right. Which is the extra long wheelbase. Yeah. And that's why I thought you'd be quite interested in it. Turn right at this one. I thought you'd be quite interested in this because you've got two really nice comfy seats. It's got a few extras. This has got the leather seats in it as well. Yeah, they are quite a few of the nice. They're, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're like sat in them rather than on them, which if you're used to driving vans, you'll know exactly what I mean. You, you, we are sat in this yeah, vehicle. Yeah, yeah. And so it's got the leather seats and it's like the top spec. So it's got color coded bumpers and all that sort of stuff. So it looks really nice, nice alloy wheels. It shouldn't do that. I know, it's just brilliant. Uh, and then you've got three seats in the back, and then a ma absolutely massive. Massive uh, boot. And they've taken the e extra row of seats out the back. Right, okay. oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so it comes So it could quick. be like a minibus. It could be like a minibus. So I so, guess you can have, you could, so if you were a business, you could, if you wanted to operate minibuses, you could do electric ones then. Yeah. I guess you could panel it out and wood line it and yeah. have it as a, as a van, as, as a, a van. like a, you know. A, or, not just the business, but I'm just thinking for the leisure pursuing family. If you yeah, if you were a family with some e-bikes, yeah. it'd be like the perfect oh, bike, bikes uh, in perfect general. car to go e-biking. Yeah, yeah. Fam, fam, family bus during the week. Yeah, and then that regen's really strong. Actually. It's really good. Uh, where are we going, mate? Go straight on. Because um, so a couple of things. So I driving up here in the van I thought was going to be horrible in the, yeah. the transit and actually it was no different if you get a nicely spec van because I think transits and those types of vans and I'm going to use transit a bit like people use Hoover for vacuum cleaner yeah. Yeah, yeah. that kind of van yeah back in the day 10 years ago they were pretty grim places yeah. the, the interiors were built to basically not be destroyed by you know knuckle dragging builders and yeah. stuff yeah uh, and there were no creature comforts, the seats were rubbish, yeah. there was no decent infotainment system. Yeah. But actually nowadays, you can still buy vans like that, but you can spec them up so yes. that they're pretty luxury, really. Yeah, they're just and, absolutely And when you lovely. do that, you know, you could have, I guess you could have one of these as a camper van as well. I, I don't know, but I guess so. If you took, because a lot of camper van companies will just take one of these and then just convert it into a camper. There is one yeah. caveat to that. Okay. So, this has to be rated at three and a half tons gross weight. Okay. How much does it weigh before you put anything on it? The best part of two and a half tons. Ooh. So, so you've only got a ton of payload. Uh, it, they actually say 
about sort of seven, 750 kilos payload. Wow, I never thought that. No. And, and I actually said to Fergus, who's the salesman at Western, great guy by the way, go and speak to him, that if, say for example, if this was say a seven seat configuration, yeah. and you had seven of you, of me, <laughs> That'd be like five tons. That'd be like five tons. Yeah, you need HG. Why are you being? That's bullying. No, no you could. But seriously, you, you could, could. You could. A ton isn't that much, or no. 750 kilos isn't that no. much extra payload, no, really. No, no, no. A, a, a big guy is around 100 kilos. Yeah. You have seven of those, 700 kilos. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's these things you actually have to consider. Yeah. But that said, uh, it also accepts the fast charging. Okay, yeah, I was so going to say, so how quick does the charging go? 80% in about 45 minutes with the correct charger. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, so you can, so 100 kilowatt hour battery, if it does do around, because we're not done a long uh, drive in it, but uh, yeah, we'll go straight. Come back. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, we've not tested the range, Yeah. right? But after the couple of days we've had it, it started with um, 100 and uh, about 205 miles predicted yeah. range. It's now on uh, 172 miles, so it's not. So it's 172 not, miles of range with a 79% battery. Yes, left. It's yes. Not bad. it's very good. So, and what um, Simon from Western said that uh, one day we'll be able to go and actually do a bike delivery. Yeah. That's in good. this, and we can bring actually a real life. Yeah. But uh, mate, honestly, it's lovely. I am, I am very surprised. Yes. Because I think there are there, there's a yeah, which is funny. We're just being overtaken by like proper HGV articulated trucks. You know. Yeah. I know Tesla did their Tesla truck and stuff, but yeah. on a serious note, you know, electrifying these, and I know I think Amazon runs some electric vans in yeah. their fleet and that yeah. type of thing. For a business, there's got to be some major tax efficiency and grants and stuff that you would get yeah. by buying an electric fleet as opposed to like an internal combustion engine. Yeah, 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 yeah there will be. And that's where, go and speak to Fergus or West. Yeah. Because because I, I sent him an email because he, he gave me all the crib sheet and what yeah. have you, all the information on it, which was really helpful. And, and I said, oh, you're not telling me how much it is. Yeah. And he says, well, we don't really focus on the retail price because the vast majority of people lease them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, now, incidentally... The regen's really good. The regen's really good, isn't it? Now, incidentally, this spec is about 51,000 quid. Right. Which, for the size, luxury, capacity, size of battery, spec... Yeah. Well, that, yeah, because that, if you if you were to buy an electric car yeah. with a 100 kilowatt battery... Yeah. You, you're in that kind of range easy. Like, in fact, you'd probably be in, in uh, 60, 70 yeah. thousand quid. Yeah, yeah. And you don't, you, you then can't put three bikes and a paddleboard in it. Yes, yeah, so that's not bad. No, so I, I, so I actually said to Fergus, don't be embarrassed about that. That's actually, you know, for, for the technology and the comfort that you've got in here, I don't think that's bad at all. You buy a 100 kilowatt battery pack Audi and you're looking at best part of 100 grand if you're not careful. There you go. So, but your point, forget about the retail price for a second, if you are a business and you're wanting to lease this size of something, yep. go up and down the motorway, use it for the family, use it for delivering bits and pieces. It's a really compelling package I reckon. Yeah, and I think there's a whole bunch of stuff around Lots of businesses want to go carbon neutral or yep. or have some kind of sustainability strategy and that, you know, if you've got a big fleet, yep. then that's going to help that massively because, you know, the the the, 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 the the vehicle part of your carbon emissions, if you're a distribution company or if you've got delivery vehicles or service vehicles, is, is probably the biggest chunk. Yeah. And I think actually a couple of hundred, couple of hundred miles of range. Yeah. 
that's workable. That. Well, certainly, if it's, I think, if if you're like a local, a local delivery business, or a lo- where you're just doing local trips, because yeah. that's where you get the maximum amount of range. I would imagine stick one of these on a motorway at 60 or 70 miles an hour, and you ain't going to get 200 miles. You get half half of that because of the uh, air resistance, wind resistance, and all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm interested to find out. Yeah, yeah, because I think that you know EVs don't generally do their best economy driving on a motorway. Right. They do it best when you're kind of mooching around traffic, when you've got regen coming up to roundabouts and stuff, we're going left. We're going left, left yeah. Here, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's so interesting. That'd, be, that'd be quite interesting, because it is a big old thing to, to, to push and punch through the air. Yes, yeah. Um, so the faster you go, and I would also imagine that the difference between doing something, let's say, at 50 miles an hour yeah. and 60 miles an hour is quite a lot, and yeah. I just, hypothetically thinking through it, I yes. don't know. No. But, so there we go, there's a challenge for you. That's a challenge. Test that one out when you yeah. go on a route. Yeah, let's actually. See what you think. Yeah. Because I know the work, certainly the work I've done on vintage voltage, the bigger vehicles that we have that have poorer um, uh, drag coefficients and stuff, they generally struggle with range yeah. on yeah. longer trips. Yes. But mate, I'm, it's, <laughs> it's the performance, the driving bit for me. Yeah. It's proper pokey, this. Yeah, yeah. But it's also just a nice place to sit. Yeah. So you converted me to being a van fan. When we, fir- when we first started talking to you, that's how we got to know each other. You sent me a Peddler's Rides video of your van. Of my van. And I'm like, it's a van. Yeah. And now I've driven up here in a van and really enjoyed it. Yeah. Now you're driving an electric van. Yeah. And really enjoyed and it. And then actually I was, I was uh, driving over from the hotel this morning in the van yeah. with Dan. And we were actually talking about how actually if you go mountain bike into a bike park, having a van would be a really good idea. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming, <laughs> petrol ped buys a van. Yes. But mate, thank you for sorting this out. So yeah, big shout out to Western Commercials for letting me um, have a play with the van. Yep, go and see Fergus. Yeah, and, yep. and putting me on the insurance so I yes. can have a play. Yes. Um, yeah, very cool. It's nice, isn't it? It's really cool, yeah. Really cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you are, because I know quite a few of you uh, are like, you know, work for yourself or have vans and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I know that from the posts I had with the yellow Hendy van, because yeah. everyone's like, oh, mate, that's amazing. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Would you be tempted to go down the electric route for your work van? Yeah. Because I'm quite impressed with this. And I'd be also interested, personally, Yeah. is if you're considering an electric SUV. Yes. Would you actually now consider maybe looking at an electric van yeah. rather than an electric SUV? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, look at that. We're nearly back. That was, that was, you know, we are basically one take wonders. <laughs> if you enjoyed that one, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film. It's but definitely for now, it's definitely worth subscribing because he's a really great guy. Oh, you can come on the videos again, mate. Oh. You can come on the main channel again. And don't forget, make sure you're tuning into Cycle Sunday on a Sunday. It's not just a clever name. <laughs> Six o'clock on a Sunday. But anyway, see you on the next film, guys. Drive safe. Bye bye. <laughs>